We're going to head straight to Attorney General Merrick Garland. He's delivering remarks, uh, hoping to take questions and hear his response to the indictment of former President Donald Trump. To both independence and accountability. Mr. Smith is a veteran career prosecutor. He has assembled a group of experienced and talented prosecutors and agents who share his commitment to integrity and the rule of law. Any questions about this matter will have to be answered by their filings in court. Experts uh, in extremism had feared there would be unrest in Miami this week. Uh, some people are saying it's because the Justice Department has been so assertive in prosecuting rioters on January 6th that we have not seen a repeat of that violence. Do you agree with that assessment? Look, all I can say is we live in a democracy. These kind of matters are adjudicated through the judicial system. The Justice Department will be vigilant to ensure that there are no threats of violence or actual violence. Can you give the American public a very clear sense of what exactly your role was in the indictment process, just so people can understand what that role is? And then secondarily, uh, given the historic and extraordinary nature of the case, uh, explain to people, if you would, why this was the best and most appropriate step that was taken and why there were no other alternatives. Um, I'm trying to remember the first first question. Exactly. Your role. Yes. So my role is completely consistent with the regulations that set forth the responsibilities to the attorney general under the special uh, counsel regulations. And I followed uh, those regulations. Uh, with respect to the second question, this again is asking for particulars, and I'm not going to be able to comment. Um, um, all of the uh, comments on this will have to come in filings in court. That's all we have time for. Thank you. Thank you all. That's all we have time for. Again, that's all we have time for. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got a few questions in there. That's our uh, Chief Justice Correspondent, Pierre Thomas, that was able to ask uh, Merrick Garland there about the uh, the arraignment yesterday involving the former uh, president. Uh, we also have former federal prosecutor uh, from New York's Southern District, Con, nowadays with us, uh, too. Con, thank you for, for joining in kind of at the last minute. We didn't know if Merrick Garland would indeed address any questions uh, concerning the former president, uh, pleading not guilty to those 37 counts yesterday in the Miami courtroom. Uh, and, and he still, uh, he took the questions, didn't answer them uh, for citing uh, legal reasons of this ongoing case, but clearly had no problem uh, lifting up uh, the integrity, uh, he says, of special counsel and why, uh, and why he believes that uh, he went forward with the right, uh, the right avenue here. That's right, Kira. And Merrick Garland said exactly what we would expect him to say as the Attorney General of the United States. Uh, the DOJ's work, their work in this case, like in every other case, it's going to be decided in court and through their filings. And you're right, Kira, Merrick Garland did take the added step of buttressing up his trial team, uh, not his trial team, but uh, Jack Smith's team, and saying that these are credible people, these are honorable people, they are just doing their jobs. Um, and I think what was interesting is that, you know, he, he did kind of set the table that, you know, this is a just prosecution. Yeah, he made that uh, clear right off the bat as the question was taken to him. Con Nowaday, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.